And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, Dale. it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Come on, let's go. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Switch. I'm here with your man, Jimmy. I'm here with your man, Jay. And I'm here with your man, Ant. And I'm here with a very, very special guest, Monster Tava. What's going hey, on? Hey, welcome to the show. What's going on? What's going on? What's, up, what's, up? what's going on, fellas? How was y'all weekend? Yo, hey, weekend was good. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? It was yeah. blessed? Co- corona's over. Nah, yeah, it's right. not over. What are you talking about? <laughs> you didn't see those people in the streets? <laughs> oh, yeah. The Democrats was like, this don't exist no more. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> They're like, Biden won. It don't exist no more. Nah, bro. <laughs> they, they, they pushing that vaccine now. They're yeah. like 90% eff- effective, but they ain't tested it on no, no humans yet. No, and what we, you mean? Yes, they did. Who? They ain't tested it on no, no humans. I, I, no, no. I, I, read, I read on the... So I'm Reddit. Obviously, right, there's a, the post... There was uh, three people that their top comment was, hey, I'm one of the testers, and they explained like, their process. Or okay. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. I was watching the news this morning. They said it hadn't been tested on anybody yet. So it's oh, the same one? Weird. Is it the Pfizer? Uh, yeah, it's the Pfizer one. I okay. think I even posted the, the link from there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, My yeah. bad. On, in our My chat, bad. of course. I got, yeah, I got yeah. a question. I'm not taking it, though. So yeah, I, 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 I got a question when it comes to that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Why would you have to take the vaccine if you've never tested positive? That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Oh. Hmm. But here's, a, here's, here's, a, here's another thing, though. Here's another thing. The test yeah. not only tests for Corona, uh, the coronavirus, right? COVID-19, but it tests for mm-hmm. all COVIDs. So you test positive, but you don't know for if it's a positive. Yeah, but you don't know yeah. if it's specifically for COVID-19. So you right. taking the vaccine, you might have had the flu. And now you're going to get the, the coronavirus vaccine because well, you had the flu. Because But doesn't a vaccine prevent you from catching from if you were exposed? from catching no no oh. what it does is it makes you it makes you sick so you don't get sick so basically right. there's some studies that show that the flu vaccine that they're pushing now makes you more susceptible to right. covid 19. right wow. but they're, they're pushing yeah they're pushing flu vaccines and other i'm seeing commercials for vaccines like crazy and so they're, they're social conditioning they're yeah. conditioning let me stop that's what you hear. That's for, the type man. of that's the type of talk we need, man. That's what, that's what we be doing. That's don't, what don't we put do. Put that battery in my pack, boy. Don't do that. Because flu, cause in my flu, back. flu got flu got like different strains, right? And then they they have oh, a man. shot yeah. for just a certain strain, right? They don't have it for yeah. each and every strain. So yeah, with COVID, is is that going to be similar? Like, there's so many different strains that they're going to have just one generic one, or who knows? Uh, don't you know. Know, I don't know, man. Like it's it's Tough. crazy to think of that because all of the news, all of the information that we're getting from the news has all been generically uh, presented rhetoric that the I hate. I mean, I, I'm not a political person, but like that the left is eating up and just regurgitating all over social media, and the right is disputing and, and then making it about you know Donald Trump is the reason why we have you know coronavirus and covid and all of that and mm. but but i mean the, the facts are like if you really look at if you look at look at the cdc and i don't know about the world health organization but the cdc has been dropping stats for the past couple months yeah. on the actual number of deaths and and positive rates and people and it's still 99.96 percent right. survival su- rate. survival wow. rate yeah so you know, Biden, first thing Biden says is he's going to, you know, put in so if when he becomes the actual president, you know, he's going to uh, announce the mask mandates and another lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. For that for that point four, Ooh. that point zero four percent of the people that's not surviving. Yeah, we got we got to lock it and down. There's, there's been a there's been Ooh. an uptick lately, though. Right. With because I know out here in New York, we were down. uh Thing, like 500 cases and then now it's back up to like 3k right, right. now but but the way that they determine those numbers is based on how many uh kits they process it has nothing to do with like the actual cases it's just the number of tests that they process oh really? let me tell you this let me tell you this i went i work in one of my job i work in healthcare, so one of my clients had to go to the hospital two weeks ago his blood oxygen levels were really low 
So we took him to the, he's 66 years old. We took him to the hospital and I can't really say too much because of HIPAA laws, but sure. right. what, I, what I can say is when we got to the hospital, as soon as the EMS showed up, the first thing they said was COVID, 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 COVID. It's like they were wow. practicing programmed. what they rehearsed. Yeah. They were programmed, mm-hmm. exactly. And we were like, wait, what? So I get tested every two weeks and everyone in my, I have six clients. Five of them have come up positive, have shown zero symptoms, symptoms. I mean, come up positive multiple times and right. shown zero symptoms. And every staff member has tested negative. Mm, but there's yeah. also that thing that, you know, health organizations, health care organizations get incentivized when they have well, positive yeah. patients. Now, right. I don't know if that's the case with where I work, but, you know, and if they see this, then, hey, so what? <laughs> but, <laughs> but so when I got to when we got to the hospital, man, by the time we before we got to the hospital, the EMS had said co- the word COVID like 30 times. He's probably got COVID. That means everybody here has COVID, 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 COVID. I'm like, well, no, we just got tested, boss. We, nope, we're negative. Right. So we get there. And so here's what happened. <laughs> I'm sitting in the room with him. The young nurse walks in. Uh, well, you know, no, she started questioning me about my, about my mask. Cause I had, so I have seasonal allergies and I had taken a nasal spray because if I go into, I live in Florida, it's really hot. And when you walk into a building, it's really cold. So when that happens to me, I get stuffy like real quick because I have really sensitive sinus passages. Yeah. So I had to take a nasal spray. And then for about a couple of minutes, I can't breathe that well. So I'm not going to shove a mask on my face or my over my nose and I can't breathe. She didn't know that, but she came in. So I had it like, you know, not covering my nose, which I typically don't anyway. And she starts, you know, you sure you, you know, you got safe and blah, blah, blah. You sh-? And I'm like, yeah, we're good. We get tested every two weeks. So she's like, you know, you, you want to pull your mask over your nose? I said, no, I'm good. You know, I didn't explain to her why, but I said, no, I'm good. She said, well, you know, aren't you afraid of catching COVID? I said, no, I'm not. Right. She got offended <laughs> because I'm not afraid of catching. She, right. it, like it was like it insulted her very being. So then the conversation continues and she goes, well, people are dying from COVID out there and blah, blah. I said, people die from the flu. More people die from the flu every year. I'm not right. afraid of catching the flu. She really didn't like that. She said, well, a nurse here in this hospital died from COVID. I said, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but that doesn't make me afraid of COVID. Right. So People and she storms out <laughs> yeah, every day. B. So <laughs> she storms out. Another nurse peeks his head in. Male nurse this time. Young dude. He's like, hey, man, just so you know, he's probably going to have t- tested positive for COVID. That means you probably have COVID. I said, no, we don't. I looked him right in the face and said, no, we don't. He doesn't have COVID. Neither do I. So uh, uh, he didn't know what to say because he, he thought I was going to just jump in line with him and go, oh, my God, I have COVID. Right. So I was like, no, nah, we maybe, don't have Maybe COVID. he was afraid you were going to body slam him or choke slam on my son. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to. But no, I looked at him. I said, no, we're good. We don't have COVID. He goes, well, you're a big, strong guy, I guess. I'm like, yeah, like that would have that could stop me from catching a virus. Right. So then the, the first nurse comes back in. So she ends up elaborating and says that every hospital tests everyone positive. They consider everyone positive for COVID. The moment you walk in the door, you're considered positive for COVID. Even wow. if you test negative, they're calling you positive. And I looked, I wish I'd have recorded it with my wow. phone. Like I wish I'd have been slick and turned my camera on and recorded this. Cause this is a real life conversation. And so I was like, that's weird. And she got offended again. She, and this is a young nurse. She's like, well, there's a pandemic. I said, but you're saying that people are positive that aren't that's affecting people's livelihoods. Right. Like, right. If you send my job a test, result that says I tested positive, I, I couldn't go to work for the next two weeks. Right. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So the conversation ended up ending, but so yeah, I mean, there's all of these false positives. So when I hear about all these numbers of, you know, the of, a rise in positives and blah, 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 number one, they're testing people more. Right. And for, for me, from what I've seen firsthand for the past five months where I work with these clients testing positive, they've shown zero symptoms. So like, when did being sick stop looking like what it looks like when you're sick? Like, when did that happen (laughs) in human biology? Right. You know what I mean? So to me, it's all brainwashing, like the social distancing thing and all of that and the masks and everyone has ever caught COVID was one mask. (laughs) Right. Right. You know what's interesting is that you say you're from Florida and my wife, I live in Florida. You live in Florida. Yeah, and my yeah. wife was saying um, that she had friends out there. And I guess mm. this was when there was like 10,000 cases a day or something like that. Oh, yeah. And she was like, and she was like, all her friends are saying, we don't see the cases. We don't, we don't know anybody who got positive cases. 
crazy. And yep. she's like, well, cause you know, she calls and she's like, yeah, I heard it's crazy out there. And they're like, mm-hmm. uh, not that we notice. <laughs> you hear about all the empty hospitals in the in the summer, like in um, like April, May, when it was at the height of it, when no. they were. Oh yeah. So all of these, all of the news and, you know, perpetuating this nonsense that all of the hospitals are overrun and staff people overrun. And then all of the essential worker rhetoric and all of the, you know, hospital doctor worker worship, like they did with nine 11 with police and firefighters and, and all of that. Like it's, it's all, it's, it's social, yeah, it's, it's social engineering. Yeah. Wow. So it's interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's points in the agendas behind it, but there's like you can look up you can just google it like empty hospital videos like amateur vi- people amateurs going in with cell phones recording em- empty hospitals like just dead hospitals while the on the news mm. they're telling you that all the hospitals are overrun and i, I found a video i downloaded it i gotta find it on my phone of a news uh some i can't i can't even remember what station it was or whatever what what a uh, media outlet it was but it was on tv showing split screens of hospitals being overrun you know, being, you know, crazy overstaffed. Right, right. And it was in two different cities. I don't even think it were in the same country. It was the exact same video. Yeah, it's, I remember that. They used, I did see that. I did see that. They used the Italy one. Yeah. That, yeah that's what it was. Italy. Yep. 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 They they reused that. the same video. Yo, that ain't no different. Remember when, um, remember when CNN used um, World War Z footage? When they oh, was, yeah, uh, they did. They did. <laughs> and the crazy, wow. and I worked in TV. The crazy thing is, is that People will, as long as it's on TV, they the mass it, majority yeah. of people will buy it. They'll eat it up, man, as right. long as it's on what? television. So, and, so you're and saying, you, and you can't tell them. Go ahead. So, so you're saying WWE TV is more truthful than <laughs> CNN TV? It's facts, bro. <laughs> no. ah, ah, facts. Ah. It's facts, bro. Don't let them go that far. Don't well. bring them <laughs> don't don't well. be burst, don't be bursting bubbles over here, man. Oh, oh. Don't that bubble been busted and sailed and flown <laughs> off a long time ago. <laughs> so, all, for all the listeners out there, if you don't know, Monster Tava is Osu. Is it an X or is still? Uh, no, I'm not with WWE anymore. Okay, X yeah. uh, WWE member. So he yeah. used to wrestle back in the days, and he's still wrestling. I I, I seen a post recently where you were like, "Yeah, uh, I'm ready to get back in it." <laughs> yeah, I, I actually just wrestled. <laughs> In uh, Dallas this past weekend for the first time in a year. Oh, wow. there go your weekend right there. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was my dope. weekend. Yeah, yeah. Did it was. You it win was or what? Yeah, I won. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, the rest of it don't matter, but yeah, I won. <laughs> 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 you know, it was, I, I won. <laughs> yeah, but That's let me that. ask you: you, so you said you, you back home in Florida, right? I'm back in Florida now. Yeah. How's the storm? Man, I didn't even know there was a storm coming. I was at work. And I, I left to go to the gym to go train. And I'm like, what is going like I'm, the <laughs> wind is whipping my truck. I'm like, whoa, like I'm slipping and sliding. Like, and I texted a friend of mine, I'm like, yo, we, we got a storm coming or something. He's like, yeah, I guess a little baby hurricane. I'm like, oh, 